This is the final video in the Excel Unit D series, which is entitled Creating a Pie Chart. We're going to be looking on the information that is on pages Excel 94 and 95. You can create multiple charts based on the same worksheet data. While a column chart may illustrate certain important aspects of your worksheet data, you may find you want to create an additional chart to emphasize a different point. Depending on the type of chart you create, you have an additional options for calling attention to trends and patterns. For example, if you create a pie chart, you can emphasize one data point by exploding or pulling that slice away from the pie chart. When you're ready to print a chart, you can preview it just as you do a worksheet to check the output before committing to paper. You can print a chart by itself or as part of the worksheet. Okay, now let's take a look at step one on page Excel 94 in which it tells us that we want to select the range A5, which is going to be the one for Australia, and we're going to select down to A12. That's going to be all way, that's going to be our row headings here from Australia down to the United States. Then next what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the control key on the keyboard. So you press down the CTRL button, and then you're going to select the range F5 to F12. And when you hold down the control key, that allows you to select data that is not consecutive. It is different from each other. So you have a group of cells here, and then non-consecutive cells is right here. And so that is why we hit the control uh, button on there while we do that. The next part of step one is that we're going to do is we're going to click on the insert tab. And then we're going to insert a pie chart. So we're going to click on the pie button here and then we're going to choose the 3d pie uh, on there so we have the 3d pie here and then of course then there's the exploded 3d pie but we want the one that is unexploded right now so when we click on that now we have a pie chart of all the totals for each of the individual countries in step two we're going to drag the chart so the top left corner here is going to be at the top left corner of cell G1. So we're just going to pull this straight up here and once again make sure that you're clicking in a blank area. If you have like this right here you've clicked on the chart area. And you don't need that you just need to click on a blank area. So you click in this blank area here and we're going to take this all the way up to where the top left meets up to G1. You may need to scoot over just a little bit just to make sure that there's room and so that you can see everything clearly on there. Then once we have that, we're going to choose Layout 2 button in the Charts Layout group. So here's our Charts Layout group and we're going to choose the second option here which is Layout 2. And you'll notice that this is our Layout 2 where it has a chart title and as well it has all the different countries as well as the pie on there but it also has the data series labels on there which it actually tells how many percent each piece of the pie is. On step three it tells us that we want to click the slice for the India data point and we can take a look up here that India is the orange slice here so we want to click on the slice. Now when you click once it's going to select the entire chart so you have to click again so only the orange piece is selected on there. And then once you have that selected, we can right click and we're going to format the data point. Now the format data point dialog box will open. And you can use now what we're going to do is we're going to use the point explosion here so that we can pull that piece out. In step four, it tells us that we want to double click the zero in the point explosion text box. So here we have the point explosion and we want to double click the zero and we're gonna highlight the zero and we're gonna change that to 40. So we're gonna have a 40% explosion to this piece of pie here. Once we have that, we're gonna click on close and now you can take a look at your chart and you can take a look and see that this piece of pie has been pulled out 40% and that makes it stand out just a little bit more than the others. Like we did in this chart where we showed the great improvement for India in quarter two, we're kind of pulling out their piece there so that we can further emphasize India's uh, totals on there or our tour revenue in India. 
Now step five tells us that we want to drag the bottom edge of the chart so that it is close to the top of row 15. Now, you may only have to do this very little on there, uh, but if it, and that's if it's necessary. If it's a little bit smaller and everything, you can go ahead and drag it down. If it's close to it, you can just go ahead and leave it alone there. Next, on step six, it tells us that we want to click on cell A1. And of course, notice that cell A1 is a merged cell. Once we have that, we're going to switch to the page layout view. And to do that, we're going to go up to our view button here, and then we're going to click on page layout. Once we have that, it tells us that we want to type your name in the left-hand header box. So right up here, we're going to type in your name. Then next, we want to re-click back on cell A1 again. And of course, it says that you decide that the chart and data would better fit on one page, because if we would print it off right now, we'll notice how this little piece of the chart right here is there, and here's the rest of the chart over here. So we decided it's going to look a little bit better if it fit in on one page. And we're going to do this, in this case, by uh, switching this to the landscape orientation. And of course, to do that, we're going to follow step 7. And step 7 tells us that we want to click on the page layout tab. Then we're going to click on the orientation button. And then we're going to click on landscape. And you now notice that it's a little bit better on there. But however, it's still not completely there, because sometimes switching something from portrait to landscape will make everything fit in on a page. But in this case, it still has not done so. It's going to look better if it's in landscape, but we still don't have everything all on one page. So to change this, we're going to now open the print preview window. And of course, we're going to do this uh, on there. We're going to go ahead and we can click on our office button point to print and then click on print preview and of course on the print preview you notice that when we print this we're going to have the chart here it's still cut off so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the page setup button and then we're going to click on the fit to option on underneath the scaling there on the page tab to where it's going to fit one page wide by one page tall and then we're going to click on OK. And of course, the data and the chart are now positioned horizontally on that single page. Now, of course, the printer you have selected may affect the appearance of your print preview screen. If you do not have a color printer installed, the image will probably be in black and white. Now, at this time period, you can go ahead and close your print preview, save your spreadsheet, and now you can upload your file to Course Sites. And that concludes this series of videos over Excel Unit D. Uh, you are now ready to move on to the assignment, so please take a look at Course Sites underneath the content area for Excel Unit D, and you are now finished with the video series.